These people could have ten cars for all I care. It doesn't affect me directly. I only point this stuff out because the super bends over backwards to, for example, last fall when I was parking in the assigned spot next to mine instead of my own spot just so I had space between a man who was threatening to kill me for the past three years. It was no problem until I did something to piss Ray off back in, it might have been around December 2015. But while Jim Noblick was saying, okay, well, I'll see you in a few weeks, got to go, while they were working on, I think, the apartment downstairs or something, Ray doesn't just let him go. Ray says, oh, well, heck, you know, can you believe this? You know, she's still not parking in her spot, you know. He brings it to his attention. I recorded the conversation. So it's not like anyone even notices, but Ray spends that energy. Meanwhile, you've got the guy downstairs who called the police on me a year ago because my car, my tires were parked over his line. So the, this is all not just me being a jerk. These people have been beyond up. jerks to me. But sticker on the bottom of the he's got three cars parked in a visitor spot and at the end, the red with his assigned spot the open. And then he drives away oh, wow. in one of his three cars. They leave their spot um, open. You know, like I said, I don't even really care. Uh, but, and I don't even want to say anything about the other guy who's not parked in his spot because I don't want him to come park near me. But the way the superintendent prioritizes things reeks of a sort of bias. Um, I don't want to say racism, but... There's a little Just bit of that, too. Um, a favoritism would be the best way to put it. As he drives away. And, um, yeah, He's just documenting it. Two cars parked here. While his assigned spot remains open. <laughs>